Hey, good morning, everybody. Look, this is real life. That's This is a three-car garage and I'm barely fitting in because Marvin has to organize his side and we've got all the stuff here and we have not purchased. What we're gonna do is purchase those um, like metal racks or whatever to go back there behind where my car is and um, metal racks so that we can put all of our things on it and such as, such as Africa. Remember that um, beauty queen? Hold on, I gotta put you somewhere. Hold on. Remember that lady that was like Miss America or something? And she says such as this and such as that. Like she shouldn't, have, like it was just weird. Anyway, um, so we're gonna buy racks, some um, like metal racks to put here against this side of the garage, which you can't see this. This side right here, we're gonna put metal racks, and this is gonna be like Christmas and holiday decor and stuff like that. We're gonna put those, should all fit on this side over here, okay? And then we're gonna have more racks and possibly more racks to put the rest of his like tools and such. And then against this wall here, we have like a good foot of space, probably more, and um, we're gonna try to find some, um, some sort of shelving to put over here so Marvin can put more of his stuff there. This is the, did I tell you guys about it? I don't know if I did or not, but um, this right here is a bookcase that my dad made. The shelves are down there, but he made that. He wrote my name on there. And so I need to kind of repaint it. So it's, uh, cause it's a little, little, little worse for wear because like you can see like, there's just like, you know, um, I had it in my kid's room. So, um, for a long time. Oh man, I just got dirt all over my, oh, oh well. Anyway, so, um, I've had it for forever. I'm trying to think what age my dad made it. Um, I was at least maybe 15, maybe, ish. I'm trying to think, so 15 and I'm 50, almost 52. So just saying 55, 15 and 55 be 40. So I've probably had it like 30 years. So I'm gonna put it in my new office and I'm going to uh, put my Nancy Drews on there. So how about that? And the other books that I'm keeping. I try not to keep too many books because I just don't want to. And so anyway, I'm gonna paint that and I'm going to, um, and when I say I'm going to paint it, pretty sure it's not gonna be me. <laughs> it's probably gonna be Marvin or maybe even my dad. I'm gonna have my dad also make me that Pottery Barn Teen inspired desk because he can make it. So, and it'd be cool to have something my dad made in my office. I already have um, a pallet desk that he made me and he like glued these leaves on there. It's really cool looking. And he makes a lot of stuff with wood. So, um, have him do that. Now I'm gonna go get me a hot chocolate and then I'm gonna go to the office and catch up on all the things. I've pretty much caught up on everything that I need to catch up on, but I don't, <laughs> I haven't secured a venue for the meeting that we're having next Tuesday. And so that's kind of a big thing. And so I'm gonna call the school district to see if we can have it there. If we cannot, I'm gonna have to scramble and make some postcards and then go hand deliver the postcards to the community because that's the only thing I can think of to do to correct the error. I had to just go out on a limb and just assume we were going to get the space. I can't see why we'd be denied, but you never know. So if we are denied, um, then it is what it is. I'll make postcards. I'll go ahead and deliver those postcards or tape them to the door or whatever I need to do to alert the community. So mm. not looking forward to that. I'm just hoping that everything is approved. So, okay, I'm going to go because yeah, I'm just wasting time here. <laughs> Let's go. Friends, I'm headed to the Mulberry house one last time. I'm set to give the keys over and show her a few things about the house. Hope it goes smoothly because I'm hungry for lunch and I need to get back here. But I do have like a couple errands to run. I do need to run to the bank and make sure they have our address updated. Make sure this gal knows we might have some residual mail coming through. So please don't throw it away and that type of thing. So all right, I don't feel sad. Maybe I'll feel sad when I get there. I'm mostly just like, hey, let's get this over with. Let's move on to the next step. Hey guys, I'm at the Lowe's. Waiting for Marvin. I don't know if he's here yet or not, but uh, we're gonna look for garage 
organization racks and such. So, uh, maybe, I don't know where he is. Maybe I parked in the wrong spot. <laughs> We came to Lowe's because I thought we were gonna get the kind of, where are they? Oh, we're on the wrong aisle. The kind of like storage, just like racks that go across. And Marvin, as it turns out, prefers more like an overhead storage. He doesn't wanna take up valuable ground space. Correct, honey? Yes. So, he's looking at stuff. So anyway, we found this Rubbermaid Fast Track Rail system and it looks pretty cool. So I'm just, I, I tagged Rubbermaid on my Instagram. I'm just waiting for them to respond back. Hopefully they'll like sponsor us and like just give us a whole system for our garage. Pretty sure it's gonna happen. But it looks pretty cool. And so what you do is you have these like tracks that you put stuff on. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. You put stuff on that and then these can go over it too and it makes it like see like that's the track and then there's that other thing i guess a bracket and then you can get all these like attachments to it that just hook onto that black rail thing so that's pretty cool and you can hang stuff on there and do things manly things there's baskets all kinds of stuff and above it shows like you can do some overhead storage. And then of course in the little booklet, it shows what you can do with it. Shows all the different types of accessories that come with it. And it shows it being utilized so I don't know we'll see he's still looking at stuff say hi to our viewers honey they've missed you hi. you have anything to share with them I'm gonna go look at the, the racks the shelves okay hey <laughs> it's later and it's not that late it's only like 7 30 but um, we've already eaten dinner. I just made myself a peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter Sammy and putting some recycling away because tomorrow is the day that they pick up recycling in Mesquite. And what else? Hmm. Did some more address changing today. So did Marvin. And I... Put some more stuff up in the cupboards so that's a good thing as soon as i finish clearing out over in this area i will that's a lot of cleaning products actually so what i'm going to do is i'm going to let there be a light i'm gonna make sure that each bathroom has well at least the well, I guess bathroom doesn't need it, but like the powder bath back here and our bathroom doesn't need it. So I guess the guest bath needs to have at least like a comet and just some cleaning products under there. So in case something happens and we're just in a pinch, we can grab something right there. We have obviously plenty of cleaning products to go around. And then I'll just store the rest up here in this lovely pan, not pantry, utility closet kind of. Um, I was just gonna store up on that very top shelf. Now that I have a step ladder, I can reach it. And I'm just gonna put some more stuff up there. Here is our med bench area. We have the, this is the mirror that goes in that bathroom back there. We haven't hung it up yet. Because actually the builder should have hung it up, but it wasn't here when stuff was being hung. So we're trying to get everything cleared here. So number one, number one, when the furniture comes, we're ready and we can just place the furniture. Plus I need to mop in here again, at least another time or two before the furniture gets here. And then number two, I have more stuff in storage and I don't know how much stuff is actually going to make it into the house, but um, we shall see. And here's an example. I don't know if you guys have anything similar, but we have just some plastic wear 
not even plasticware. It's just like tinfoil stuff. This is actually pie things from Costco pies, which we really don't need to keep. Don't know why I've kept them, but this platter thing is, we don't really need it. I do use these like if I'm doing meals for someone or taking meals to work or something like that to share, I'll put it in that so I can just throw it away, but. I didn't realize that I showed you my nails. I was gonna try to soak them off tonight, but I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that just because it takes a while and I might try to go tomorrow afternoon to get them taken off. Because I've got a couple events this week and I need decent looking nails. <laughs> and I've got to check the calendar so I can see what day I can do it. Hopefully I can do it tomorrow. I'm gonna to text my gal tonight to see if I can make an appointment for tomorrow afternoon. Wednesday I have a realtor workshop I can go to and Thursday there's like an open house thing or a grand opening of some place. Just a couple things on the counter. So I need these nails looking spiffy, you know. Can you even see me? Yeah, I'm loving how my house is looking. I'll love it even more when I have more stuff in it. I did clear out almost one bag of plasticware. Like we have the plasticware like, try to show you, like this kind of stuff, like you put leftovers in. And I try not to have too much of it because we don't, truth be told, nobody needs that much of it really. And there's just the two of us. But I have that one, and I have um, some bigger bowls to put away. So I can knock those out tomorrow. I'm gonna put this in the cycle. I'm trying to get all the things done and put away so I can feel better. Plus I've got stuff to take back to Best Buy and get a refund on. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I hope in the near future, I will have caught up on all my vlogging and uploaded everything. But in the meantime, I hope you'll be kind to others and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.